Any thoughts on the increase in autism? Does it have anything to... Now, autism. Oh, we've seen a massive increase. Uh, likewise, in ADHD. Now, it's known in both cases that children that have those conditions have very, very low levels of omega-3 fatty acids relative to children who have normal neurological uh, behaviors. Uh, so that begs the question, just like the vitamin D. If I add back omega-3 fatty acids, do I see an improvement? Well, in the case of ADHD, the answer is a definite yes, if you give enough. And giving enough is a large amount. We'll talk about this tomorrow afternoon. Uh, in autism, uh, it's actually a much more complex disease, but it does appear that early data does su strongly suggest as you add back more omega-3 fatty acids that you basically see an improvement. Now, with autism and also Down syndrome, these really begin not uh, after birth, but in the womb. So I suspect if there was a, a test because that you could basically look at Down syndrome, which you can, that if you basically, the mother was taking large amounts of omega-3 fatty acids, this is a speculation, that the, uh, you would see a highly diminished impact of the mutation. Uh, we've seen this with Down syndrome's children. Once they basically tar start taking large amounts, uh, their ability to pay attention, like the child with ADHD, is dramatically improved. Uh, now, they're not going to become Einstein, but for their parents, it's as if they've been touched by the hand of God. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. Something they can say, I, I can do this. And that's why I think what happens as the levels of these omega-3 fatty acids are dropping in our children, those who have genetic phenotypes are now being exposed. And basically that, uh, as, but as you raise the levels, basically you can keep, you can manage those phenotypes more effectively. So I think there's a strong connection, and especially in, in autism, I think it probably begins in the womb. And we talked about, you know, uh, fetal programming, that, you know, the amount of autism has dramatically increased. Of, so I said, well, because we're, we're over-diagnosing it. I don't think so. I think what's happening is the, um, the environment, children are being born, or basically being raised in the womb, is dramatically altered. And that fine-tuning, that epigenetic programming is taking place to their detriment. So that's why I'm a very big believer that women, you know, regardless of, you know, their genetic pre uh, preposition, is take omega-3 fatty acids. If you want, you basically, the one time in your life you're going to pay attention, hopefully, to what you eat, it's when you're basically pregnant. And if you don't, basically, of it's, you're putting a burden, a tremendous metabolic burden on the child coming into a, a world that would be a lot more difficult than it should be.